Incidents of gender-based violence, GBV, have for too long been neglected and commonly regarded as part of tradition. This type of violence mostly comes in the forms of rape and domestic violence. Madeleine Lapshire has been living under these traumatizing conditions for years until she finally decided to come out. Um, I've tried to get over it on my own, um, which I managed to do, um, until a certain point last year when I suspected that um, he was still doing it to other children. Such cases continue to be on the increase in the country despite a number of policies and legislations and many suffer in silence. What bothers me is that so many people in Namibia want to um, sweep it under the rug. Um, either if it happened to you or you know someone and they want to keep it a secret because it's seen as a shameful thing. Um, but that's why I'm speaking up because I want to take the whole rug away. Because if you keep it a secret it will never stop. Advocate Walters called on retired civil servants to play a meaningful role in educating the public about tolerance and respect for each other's freedoms. Action to combat violence against women needs to come from different quarters, including employers, health professions, professionals, civil society, to mention but a few. In a recorded statement, First Lady Monica Gaingos emphasized the need for people to talk more openly about GBV. So I think it's, it's a discussion which has to involve the men of this country because broken homes bring broken children and the entire society deals with these broken children. R4R is an organization established mainly by the youth to combat GBV in the country. It aims to reduce or eliminate completely occurrences of gender-based violence in Namibia. Reporting for NBC News, Jeff Tachihumino. Vendok.